This next headline performer is a concert pianist. Uh, he has played, he's a concert pianist with a sense of humor, so I think you'll enjoy it. He's, uh, he's played Carnegie Hall, he's played concert halls all around the world, and according to him, he's also played Walmart parking lots. <laughs> I swear that's what he told me. Uh, but folks, I'm sure you all remember Victor Borga and Liberace. Well, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the music of Mr. Peter Simon. Long history of classical music in Germany. Of course, one of their greatest and most famous composers was Ludwig von Beethoven, who wrote the theme song for all the cruise lines today. Bring me some food. <laughs> Bring it right now. When Peter Simon comes to show and tell, he brings a $40,000 piano with him. This is called a concert grand piano, and it's nine feet long. And it has about 8,000 parts in it. And it weighs as much as an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> 
Lone Grove Elementary is one stop on his present tour, sponsored by the State Arts Council, the National Endowment for the Arts, and Baldwin Pianos. considers and I consider uh, children are our next audience. They're our future audience. And I want to expose them to the wonder and beauty of classical music. And of course for many of the children where I'm playing, they've never heard classical music in their life. The children, some of them getting their first exposure to classical music, listen intently as Simon explains the music for them and then plays it. The school tour isn't limited to familiar pieces. Simon uses a modern composition called Cosmic Wind to prove that the keyboard isn't always necessary. For Simon, this tour carries on an idea planted in his mind years ago. When I was a child, some symphony musicians came to my school and played, and I was just overwhelmed by the beautiful sounds that were coming out. And it definitely had a lasting impression on me. And I just hope that some students, wherever I play, or some people there will be very touched by what I do, and it's something they'll remember. And he's hoping he'll open some other minds to the profession that has him booked in England, France, and Israel, as well as Lone Grove. When you study an instrument, you learn discipline. That you, to accomplish something, you have to work at it. That's a great lesson to learn in life. You learn pride, self-respect, working towards a goal. Not instant gratification, but working toward a project and you complete it and you feel a great sense of achievement. In Lone Grove on the Oklahoma Road, Charles Newcomb, Oklahoma News Report. And it's funny, about classical music, people think uh, this is very serious music. But a lot of music is not, of, a lot of classical music is not meant to be serious. Or it isn't meant to be esoteric or intellectual. It's to be immediately enjoyed. getting better. And now, music from the composer Johannes Brahms. Brahms was a huge man. He had a long beard, smoked big fat cigars, and he wrote baby music.
the most famous love song ever written for the piano by Franz Liszt. Leave us strong. Dream of love. Thank you.